Hey, hey everyone. Another episode coming to you today. We are doing our I guess, second episode of street art. We decided to bring Dottie along for the walk. She just ate bread off the ground. So we are heading over to the Pie Town area as well as Sobro on today's episode. There's no actual pie though. No pie, but it is pie shaped. I don't know if that's considered street art or not. So we're heading up towards the train tracks because well, there always tends to be a lot of stuff up there, but it looks like they've just recently closed this crossover over. Now I'm kind of scared to cross it. We'll have to eye it up to see what it looks like. We made it. Just in time. Just in time. All the way down there, there's a train about to come. And I spotted our first little street art to take a, take a gander at. Let's go check it out. This one appears to be kind of like an advertisement based one, but it's kind of neat. I kind of like it. Simple. It's a cool looking little cat. This one is at Fog and Ewing Avenue. Kind of near where the new bridge is built. So we just found some more heading up here. So we're gonna go check it out real quick. I've never been in this part of town before. This one looks like it's just simple graffiti, but this part down on the end looks really cool. It's got some nice colors to it. Just your simple graffiti. So I've never actually explored this part of town. And this bridge up here is brand new, so really that's probably why this area of town was never really explored. But I did just see some more murals that I've never seen before, uh, kind of around all the nooks and crannies. So we're just going to continue to keep exploring and see what these murals are all about. I love when I find the mother load. So it looks like we've got something massive coming up around this corner. Whoa, it's like the whole side of the building. Johnny Cash. Loretta Lynn, Patsy Klein. Bob Dylan. Dolly. Dolly. And Leon Russell. Over in the corner there, you can't really see him, but right there. good quality hidden that's what I love is like the hidden stuff oh yeah it's pretty cool. and it's got dolly too the same way yeah maybe they all have that no this actually it looks like they're in the middle of doing it because this one looks like it's not done you can see they're just doing like the outline work on it yeah so maybe it's still in progress Look, there's more back here, but I don't think I'll be able to get in there to even see it. You might be able to see it through the, the deep end survival. That's pretty awesome. I'd give you guys a street name, but I really am not sure where we're at. This is kind of a, a new area of the city that I've ever explored, so. Once I get a street, I'll pass that along. Here's just a little simple sticker art. It just says B. Oh, and look. It even says Pie Town right there. Look at that. It is real. Pie Town is that's real. Somebody made that on a label maker. That's awesome. I don't think that's an official... Uh... <laughs> an official government issued... Yeah. I don't know what this is. It's weird though. It's got a hole in it. Why does it have a hole in it? I just love that it says like a bird nest. Pie Town right there. 
Right, so right now we are heading up to Lafayette and 6th Avenue. And you can already see there's another advertisement based street art kind of mural. Wouldn't really call it street art, but it's def definitely advertisement based mural. So where that one mural was that was pretty awesome was just down there. So I don't know if this gives you a good landmark as to where we're at. I guess that's Ewing, Ewing, Ewing Avenue. There's O's on the ground. Not sure why, but there's O's on the ground. Maybe everywhere around here. Where are these O's leading us? I don't get it. Is it for Ohio? Thanks. Go all the way down. So right now we're heading over to Rocket Town, which is kind of like a youth skate park youth area. And if I remember correctly, their secondary building, which is just over here, ends up having a mural on the side. This thing is massive. Good quality stuff. I like I like that one. This is like the street art mega lopolis. So you've got all the stuff that's going on on this wall. And check it out, you've got even more on this next building. Doesn't look like a ton. More just like a simple kind of paint the bricks sort of thing. Looks like someone put a smiley face on this little thing right here. Definitely some graffiti on the walls, but nothing spectacular. We are at Peabody and 4th, and you can see that, I forget what this place is called, Sobro House, I think, has done a minimal-esque mural on the side of their building, which makes it kind of fun and pop with a little bit of color and whatnot. This part of town is kind of tricky to find. Uh, lots of street art mainly because we're starting to enter or get close to downtown which tends to be a little bit more cleaned up a little less industrial but there are still some inklings here and there there was a building matter of fact just over there that used to have a awesome johnny cash mural on the side of it but that has since been torn down obviously to make way for another skyscraper to go there so I won't be able to film that one but I do have a couple that I see on my way to work that we're going to take a peek at before we move on so we are at Peabody and Hermitage Avenue and there is I guess like a old factory or old industrial type building that's up here I'm sure it won't last for very long because they are doing another condo sized skyscraper next to it but i've been seeing some of this artwork pop up i've actually seen that it looks like the same artist is being commissioned to do a much larger one over in the nation section of town which we'll probably check that out a couple episodes down the road but i've been seeing it pop up up here so i thought i would catch it before it's gone because i have seen it here before it's been removed it looks like they came back like triple time <laughs> Put up a bunch of them so we're gonna capture them before they're gone all right here's the building i don't know if you can see that but just up there there is one of his works there's a couple more i really like that one up there just because of the color there's a tiny little one Tiny little one. So dapper. I like it. I don't know what this one is. It looks like it might be the same artist, but I'm not sure. 
Oh, that's kind of cool. That one is actually, that one is paper, which is what I've seen here before. Not this particular one, but a pasty. That's cool. Here's a better shot of that one. Oh, I love it. I see this every day on my way into work. Every day. I mean, this building is usually just like, has tons of stuff in lieu of tornado. I'm not sure what that means. Well, I'm so happy that I finally got to shoot that one because that, that's been my favorite. And, suit one? Yeah. Well, because I see it every day when I go to work and I keep seeing them add a few more and a few more and so I always want to stop and take a photo but I just I'm on my way to work so I never do it and I'm glad I got it in on this particular episode because I've also seen them cover them up pretty quickly in this area mainly because it's so close to downtown and they're doing a lot of construction around here so their shelf life is very very short so I'm glad that I got a chance to capture that one before it's either painted over or this building is torn down. So that that's that one's a win in my book. Okay, so, so this is what I'm talking about. I almost walked past it and then I saw it. That's awesome. I almost walked past that. You wouldn't have even seen it, oh. would you? All right, so we are making a pit stop at this uh, gas station to get a beverage as we make our way on. We're about to make our way over to the dog park. I don't know how much more street art we're going to see because it does get a bit minimal the closer we get to downtown, but I have seen a couple here and there that are pretty unique. But again, they get covered over pretty quickly, so maybe we'll get lucky, maybe not. Okay, so we are now entering into the land of Sobro, which means basically south of Broadway. We are over near the Ascend Amphitheater. I would be shocked if this video didn't end here, mainly because it is going to be a doozy to find any street art on this part of town. But if we find it, it's going to be a jewel and a gem. That's for sure. All right, y'all, I'm grasping at straws here because there's really not much, but I did see this in the back of the sign. I don't know what it means, but a few little sticker arts, that's about it. Like I said, grasping at straws. It's gonna be hard downtown. It's gonna be hard, but we will make it work. Ditto. What? Oh, where did you see that? On the ground. It's a nine millimeter casing. Uh, and we are in downtown Nashville right now. Like, there's Joe's Crab Shack. Yeah, it's nine millimeter. Wow. Huh. It's like being at work. <laughs> so, might not find. Oh, there's some. There's a sticker. See, most of what you're probably gonna see are stickers. I hate to say it. There you go. Just under the pedestrian bridge in Joe's Crab Shack. But like I said, finding street art down here is going to be Look, really hard. It's a tiny statue of Lincoln. Oh, what? 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 Oh. <laughs> is that street art? <laughs> No, that's money in your pocket, Tiny baby. Tiny Lincoln statue. <laughs> I totally staged that. Feel guilty. <laughs> Don't feel guilty. Now it's gonna be really hard to like have a com complete street art vlog down down in this part of town. There used to be a lot, but I mean it's since been like painted over and all that kind of stuff. Little no perspective. We are down by the Shermerhorn, Bridgestone's right over there. You gonna put a penny in? You gonna put that penny in? 
Oh, this is a different one. This is an old kind of... This is from 2000. Oh, that's so old. Throw it in. Did you make a wish? Yeah. What'd you wish? I can't tell you. All right, now it's my turn. having any luck in the Sobro area. So we're heading back over to Pie Town. Cause there's probably some more that we didn't see over there. I thought I was getting pie. Like pumpkin pie? I don't know. When I think of pie, I think of pizza pie. Pizza? We are walking in a construction zone, which is fully barricaded. So I don't think we're really supposed to be in here but I'm trying to use it as a cut through because all the best alleys are the ones that have the cool artwork okay let's cut through here totally not supposed to be in here Leah Avenue and 7th let's see if we see anything down this little strip of something so we're coming up on third man we got tons of sticker art going on here. <laughs> Lots of sticker art. Stick it up. It's like all over. Mostly bands. A couple unique things in there here and there. These boots are made for walking. Oh, that is awesome. <laughs> Christopher Walken. Yeah. Oh, this one's cool too. It's like a Teletubby person. I love it. Coming up on another one. I'm not sure who this artist is, but definitely has the little birdies similar, the T&M. Oh look, so that right there, that was the one that's in that alleyway over in the other part of town. Yeah. So I wonder, this might be that same artist. Very cool. And again, this is over near Third Man Records, so Third Man Records is just right over there. And this is just up the block. Crossing back over the train tracks, heading home. Ugh. So we're back on the gulch side of things, but I just noticed this on our way home. It's that same one that I shot in the last video, but it's got different words on it this time. It's pretty cool. Oh, and talk about sticker art. That's cool. I like that one. So I think that's going to be it for this episode, episode number two of our street art in Nashville. That was Pie Town and Sobro, more so Pie Town than Sobro just because, well, I've already kind of said it. Sobro's coming on the rich and fancy side and I guess they don't appreciate street art as much. But we are heading home. I hope that you enjoyed this episode. If you like this type of content, make sure to come back and check out some more because we're going to be having more neighborhoods from Nashville posted up hopefully over the next several weeks. Otherwise, feel free to give a like, a comment, a share, and definitely hit that subscribe button because, well, it lets me know that you like this content. So until next time, bye y'all.